To understand how Rescue CPR works, we'll use our demonstrator and first talk about how conventional manual CPR circulates blood. Here, the red balloon is the heart, and the blue balloons are the lungs. Each time we compress, we create a positive pressure inside the chest that pushes blood out of the heart and air out of the lungs. During decompression, the chest wall recoils and creates a vacuum that pulls some blood back into the heart and some air back into the lungs. This phase of CPR is crucial because the more blood that can be returned to the heart, the more blood that can then be circulated forward on the next compression. However, even with high quality CPR, we only circulate 25 to 40% of normal blood flow. As we can see here, the heart is not completely filling. One of the primary reasons blood flow is limited is because the patient's airway is open. This wipes out the vacuum we're relying on to fill the heart. Notice how the heart stops filling as soon as the air comes in. The rescue pod corrects this issue. It attaches to either face mask or advanced airway and regulates airflow into the chest. The rescue pod allows air to exit during the compression phase, but closes during the recoil phase. This significantly enhances the vacuum that we create during chest wall recoil and doubles the amount of blood pulled back to the heart. The rescue pump is a handheld suction cup device that actively lifts the chest to help further enhance the vacuum in the chest. By actively re-expanding the chest, it allows the creation of an even greater vacuum, and the rescue pod helps maintain that enhanced vacuum, resulting in near-normal blood flow to the brain and vital organs. <laughs>